friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, it is Friday so it is time to recap my week, set some goals for next week, talk about the WW Workshop and of course this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and ring your bell so you never miss a future upload. Unfortunately, YouTube has been turning off bell notifications, so make sure yours is turned on and set to all so you never miss when I upload because I do upload new videos five days a week and every Friday is weigh-in day. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, the workshop topic, and this week's weigh-in. once again. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a good week overall, but I also had a frustrating week. I've been mentioning in my last couple weeks of weigh-ins that if you didn't know, I started a fitness routine with a fitness coach a little over three weeks ago, actually almost four weeks ago to today. And it's been really good. I've been walking. I've been strength training at the gym. I'm now incorporating two days a week of structured cardio, which means that I'm on some type of piece of cardio equipment at the gym, getting my heart rate 125 or higher. I don't think my heart rate was getting high enough for her on my walk. So I think she decided to implement some structured cardio into my routine. I'm still walking the remaining five days of the week and I'm strength training three days a week, which all of that's been great. I'm loving my walks. You guys know I really, really look forward to my morning walk. I never thought that I would wake up excited about exercise, but I really, really enjoy my morning walk. I'm starting to like the strength training a little bit more. I'm feeling like my body is toning up and I can see a little bit of muscle definition forming, which of course is huge motivation. And the structured cardio, nah, this is my first week doing that. I will tell you that 30 minutes on the elliptical feels like four hours where I can walk 30 minutes outside and it flies by. So that's one thing that I don't love, but I also understand her reasoning for implementing the structured cardio. What's been frustrating for me is my weight. Now I always tell you guys that I don't live or die by the scale, but I have goals. We know I have goals that I wanna hit my goal weight by the end of the year. So the number on the scale does matter to me. It's just not the only thing that matters to me. But I've been a little bit frustrated because this entire week my weight has been exactly the same. Actually starting from last Friday, so for almost an entire week my weight didn't budge. I mean not even an ounce and I'll tell you that even the week prior it did the exact same thing. I even mentioned that in my weigh-in video. So I was just wondering what was happening. Why was my weight basically stalling out and staying exactly the same? Now I'm not complaining that my weight stayed the same and that I maintained my weight but with all the added movement and exercise and strength training I was really hoping that it would keep propelling my weight loss forward. But I'm happy to say that as the week progressed, as we got closer to today, weigh-in day, things started to change a little bit, but it's been very frustrating. I've actually reached out to my coach a couple of times and said, should I be panicking? Should I be worried that my weight is staying the same? And she said I should be worried when she's worried and she's not worried. So I just listened to her and trust her advice, just like you guys, my coaching clients, trust my advice. And I just kept doing what I've been doing, eating good, drinking my water, doing my exercise. And I trusted her and I trusted the process. But that doesn't mean that there wasn't some frustration along the way because there was absolutely frustration along the way. On a positive note, I had a couple firsts this week. I actually went out with my neighbor, my next door neighbor. They're in their mid thirties. Her name is Ashlyn. She's really sweet. I went out with her and some other girls in my community to a little wine bar this week. I didn't have any wine. I drove three other girls and myself to the restaurant, but I had a little cheese meat cracker tray with some fresh fruit that I split with one of the girls. And we just had really good conversation. I got to know some other girls in my community, which means they're relatively within walking distance of me. And now I have multiple friends, not just my next door neighbor, Ashlyn, but other friends in my community. And we're planning on more girl get togethers and going to some fitness classes at the gym. And it was just really nice to network and make some new friends here in Arizona. And I also stayed on track all week with my food. I had one kind of 
relaxed splurge meal, but the rest of my week was literally on point. And I think that led to some of the weight loss frustration as well. But overall, I feel really good about my week with my activity, my water, my food, and meeting new friends. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to establish a morning routine. I get asked a lot what my morning routine is. I've actually been asked to film videos on my morning and nighttime routine. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see what I do in the morning to set my day up and what I do at night to round out my day to keep it healthy and to keep moving towards my goals. I would definitely be interested in filming this video if it's something that you want to see. So let me know down in the comments. So what is the perfect morning routine? Honestly, I don't think that exists. The perfect morning routine is what's perfect for you. And that's going to vary from person to person. Maybe it's waking up on a yacht with a hot, fresh cup of coffee. Maybe it's indulging in a beautiful morning breakfast, or maybe it's having absolutely nothing to do in the morning. But until this dream becomes a reality, think about what you actually need to accomplish in the morning and how to set yourself up for success. So we have some tips from WW. Tip number one is make a list of the things that you do in the morning and how long it takes you to do these things. So these are things that you automatically do without thinking every Every single morning. Pay special attention to anything on this list that maybe you want to stop doing. I'll go ahead and pop up a graphic here from WW. So one thing that we do every morning is brush our teeth. That takes approximately two minutes. We brew our coffee, taking approximately five minutes. Maybe we hit the snooze alarm and that can add nine extra minutes of sleep, but nine less minutes that we have to get ready in the morning. Or maybe we scroll social media for 15 minutes. We want to keep brushing our teeth and having our coffee, but maybe we want to stop scrolling social media and hitting that snooze button. That's kind of how this is laid out. Think about things that you want to continue doing and things that you want to stop doing. Next, think about some small small but mighty actions that you can add to your morning routine. These actions should help build healthy habits and then guesstimate how long each of these actions is going to take. So for example, maybe you track your sleep in the WW app and that takes about a minute. Maybe you drink an extra glass of water and that takes two minutes. You meditate for three minutes or maybe you stretch for five minutes. You prep and pack your lunch and that could take an extra six minutes. You may sit down and write in a gratitude journal for seven minutes. Make the bed and tidy up for 10 minutes and you might even take a little stroll or walk around the block for about 15 minutes. These are all great healthy habits to add to your morning routine. And once you start doing these consistently, they'll just be things you don't even have to think about like brushing your teeth and making your coffee. And number three is to pick one or two of the things that we just mentioned and think about how you can add them into your morning routine. Maybe you'll wake up earlier and swap that out for one, something you want to stop doing. Maybe you no longer hit your snooze alarm, but you take a 15 minute walk in the morning instead or pair that with a habit you already have locked in. This is called habit stacking and is one of the easiest ways to keep going and build new and healthy habits. So an example may be, instead of scrolling through Instagram when you first wake up, how about you get up and start your routine with that 15 minute walk? In my opinion, that's a much better use of 15 minutes. What do you think? We know that mornings can be hectic. Sometimes we're running around like a chicken with our head cut off trying to get everything done before we walk out the door to start our day. And that chaos can really lead to a domino effect for the rest of our day. That's why getting into a routine that's healthy, that prioritizes your health and your goals and your overall wellness can really start our day off on a less chaotic foot and really a more relaxed, even foot, which can again lead to a domino effect throughout the rest of our day. Post your new routine on your fridge, on your computer, on your mirror, in the notes app on your phone, wherever you're going to see it, wherever it will be a constant reminder, post your morning routine. That way it becomes, that way it's a it's a constant reminder, always in front of you until it becomes a healthy habit routine. And once you find a routine that works for you, stick with it. Again, eliminate the things that aren't working and add things that are working. This is the best way to set yourself up for a successful morning routine that helps you live a healthier, happier lifestyle and of course helps you with your weight loss goals. I really like this topic. I know for me, I'm a very routined person. I have a very, very specific morning routine. I have a very specific nighttime routine. And I honestly think that these two routines actually help contribute to my success. If you didn't know, I've lost well over 110 pounds. I'm continuing to lose weight. I've maintained that weight loss. And I think being a structured maybe type A routine type person is definitely beneficial. So now let's go ahead and jump 
into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned, it was frustrating to be the exact same weight to the ounce literally the entire week, but today when I stepped on the scale, the weigh scale gods were in my favor and I'm actually down 0.8. That is almost an entire pound. I'll take it. I'll take being down 0.8 after being the exact same weight for well over a week. I'll go ahead and put here on the screen my total amount of weight lost and I'm moving into the next week feeling good feeling confident and hopeful that the scale continues doing this instead of doing this. But like I said, I'm never upset about maintaining my weight. I would much rather maintain than gain. And I know that what I'm doing to maintain my weight is really good for my body and really good for my health overall. So stop complaining, Jen, stop being frustrated and be happy about where you are in your healthy lifestyle. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was the, your weight what you expected? And let me know what's your morning routine. Do you struggle with establishing a healthy morning routine? Or are you more like me where you're pretty structured and you have a really good routine in place? And lastly, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video on my morning and nighttime routine. If you enjoyed another week's weigh-in, weekly WW workshop recap and of course how my week went give this video a big huge thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching which I highly recommend links and discounts to my favorite things follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group we would love to have you thank you so much for watching happy Friday friends and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul Bye.